Lance, I won't watch you. Go right ahead. <laughs> if your hair is straightened out, there we are. We're recording. Yep. Great. So okay. Let's see. I didn't know. Pete has I, just arrived. Yeah, I, I'm Pete thinking to say what we're doing here briefly. Uh, I'm thinking to make this Learning Together episode 444. Isn't that cool? Wow. Oh, Here's nice. Nina. Nina. Nina has set an alarm as well. All right. Hi, Hi Nina. Hello there. Nina. Nina. Morning, Nina. Well, we've got to say hi before introductions. I mean, you know, hi, Nina. It's early where Nina is. I think it's early where Lane is as well. Same. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this is the 30th of March, uh, 2020. And we're in, uh, you know, the book Love in the Time of Cholera. This is teaching in the time of COVID. <laughs> and uh, yeah. anyway, we're actually webheads, all of us, I think. Even Mike. Mike's an honorary webhead. Yeah. He's junior, here. Junior. There you are. <laughs> it's, it's actually, uh -huh. if you... If you uh, Use hashtag webheads, you're going to come up with Spider Man artifacts and paraphernalia. So, webheads in action is the actual uh, tag you need to use. But anyway, we're in the encyclopedia, the TESOL encyclopedia of uh, language teaching. So, webheads is webheads in action. Actually, it's the, the chapter is called webheads. But, uh, anyway, it's webheads in action. So, let's see who we got here. We got Michael Coglin, who co founded webheads with me back in the 1990s, long, long ago. When we were young, Vance. Mike, can you introduce <laughs> with Lane? Maybe, maybe, Mike, you could introduce Lane, and Lane, you can introduce somebody. Well, I'd probably like to introduce someone I know a lot better, and that would be... Yeah, that's Lisa. okay. I understand. Sure. Only I don't. I mean, I know of you. We've probably been in the same virtual room a few times, maybe even a conference or two, but I don't think we've ever met, not to my knowledge, anyway. But Teresa and I have certainly met. Teresa's in Lisbon, and uh -huh. Teresa is someone who's got a special connection with me and other webheads perhaps oh, because oh. my son actually met Teresa before I did. He went right. to Portugal and I said, well, I know someone in Lisbon, how would you hello, like hello, to hello. Them? And he did. So Teresa very kindly was, um, took my son out for a day and, and I had the same pleasure years later of spending time together with Teresa in Portugal. And we also met in New York, I think, didn't we, Teresa? Yes, we did, yes. So it's a pleasure to see you and welcome you here. Your turn to introduce someone else, Teresa. <laughs> okay, well, let me introduce Nina. Okay, Nina, do you have sound? Okay. You do? <clears throat> okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Because mm -hmm. yes, I didn't have sound when I first came. A quick okay. word to go was around. Unmute tab. yourself and put on your webcam, if you wish. Just a quick uh -huh. word. I have my... It's arrived. Don't I have my webcam on? You, you do. do. I was just speaking. To, oh, Chris Fry. Yeah, Chris Fry just arrived. I'll tell you. I'll introduce him in a minute. Uh, anyway, go ahead, Nina. Sorry to interrupt you. No, okay. No, no. Any, anyway, I was going to introduce Nina. We go back to the beginning of Webheads. When uh, Nina was also a fabulous collaborator with the Becoming a Webhead group, and um, she she put me in touch with my American sixth grade teacher. Now, this is something fabulous wow. <laughs> because I'd lost touch with him. And, uh, you know, I found out through a Google search that he was teaching at the University of Maryland. And I thought to myself, who but Nina could maybe try to get me in touch with him. And she did. And we've been in touch since then. So uh, this is fabulous. Anyway, that's Nina for you, the great friend. And we still have a milkshake, a milkshake to drink together, right, Nina? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or was it an ice cream sundae? <laughs> or an ice cream sundae, whatever. It might be an ice right. cream sundae. <laughs> uh -huh. We will meet after all this is is gone. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Nina. Yeah. Now you introduce somebody. Okay. Um, well, I is coming. Introduce. Has Vance already been introduced? No. That's no. cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Vance is the cat herder. We are the cats. Interestingly, I just watched a movie about mm -hmm. cats in Istanbul last night called Kitty. 
Oh, so I thought a few bands. <laughs> I can imagine, right. Um, everybody and, knows bands, so how, how to introduce them? I'll just... I don't know, when, when did we first that, meet? Um, well, after I finished the first um, EVO becoming a webhead in 2006, at the end, when we had our graduation, Tere and Daph said, well, now you can sign up to be webhead. You've taken this, this <laughs> session with us. Mm. So I thought, what the hell a webhead? <laughs> but anyway, I signed up and that's how I met fans. And then that year or the next year, I think, we met in person in Portland. Was Could it be Portland? Portland? That seems a little seems, late. There were two Portlands. Oh. Seattle. Maybe it was Seattle. Maybe the first Seattle, yeah. The first Seattle, yeah. Um, and we've been friends ever since. Funny thing about that. And we collaborated on the, the Webheads in Action online wasn't it called an unconference? Uh, convergence. The Webheads in Action online, online Convergence. Online convergence. Yeah, 2005, 2005 2007, but, 2009. Mm -hmm. Right. And then we um, we were on the team together, the, the EVO team. And then I retired and disappeared. <laughs> so it's my Back first again. time. So nice to see everybody. Uh -huh. Well, Go Vance. Well, that, that convergence reminds me of how I first met Heike, because uh, I think it, was, it must have been in 2005. And um, we had planned it all out. We had put out the, um, the calls for paper, and we'd actually, by the way, it's the first year we, and the last we ever vetted any uh, um, uh, proposals for it. We just realized after that, no one's going to turning a fake proposal, you know, so you don't really need to do that. They're going to go in and embarrass themselves in front of all their colleagues. Nah, they won't do that. So just accept <laughs> anything. But anyway, at that year, where we had that system in place, Heike caught wind of this convergence that was going on and contacted me. And she was really keen. And she said she wanted to present. And I said, well, like, we could squeeze you in here. And we did. <laughs> and uh, we've known each other ever since. And uh, Heike most recently, well, she's recently done a lot of things, but just a few days ago, she gave a presentation at the uh, Virtual World's uh, Best Practices um, conference there. And that happened in the middle of the night where I am. But uh, when people were encouraging me to go, I kept thinking of Heike and how I still have linden hair. And she was always trying to give me, uh, trying to get me to upgrade my, uh, my avatar. And also, I'm pretty sure if I fired that thing up now, I'd probably still have a village T-shirt on. I, I think so. Anyway, Heike, that's that's uh, I know a lot more than, about Heike than that, but she's been a constant collaborator. So I really on. do share these fond memories of Edunation, the first Edunation, which was so bland, but that Webhead's headquarters was there, and it was just such a wonderful place to congregate. Honestly. And you've been able to manage not only 444 sessions, but also two or three huge web heads in action on online convergence. And to the extent that you said it's just unmanageable and it's not really um, viable to have such great content in such short period of time when you can't take it in anymore. And let's space it out. And I re appreciated that ever since. I really am I'm very happy about you continuing this kind of work um, on um, running webinars and getting people together. And I remember our last action, which was then for the climate change, um, that big event that we, this, we thought we would advertise on the um, uh, European Day of Languages, we did it. We had uh, the EVO, the webheads, we had um, a lot of other um, sort of marketing wise sort of and of course we use the hashtags climate change and strike for climate change and all this yeah and then we had I know nine people there or something <laughs> and, no. and we wanted to, to recommend to Greta 
online strategies on how she could possibly get people together. And the one thing I remember always, Vance, that you taught us from the very first Evo or the second Evo, you taught us how to use a hashtag. And the hashtag became the one and only networking tool of all times. And I remember vividly when you told us to hashtag every blog, every post, every this and the other. But at that time, Twitter wasn't even invented. So it was, it was, it was truly, you're a pioneer in this field. And sorry, I can only introduce you. I don't know enough about everybody else. <laughs> Over to Mike or Teresa or whatever. Well, Vance, you said you were going to introduce uh, Mike or Chris, perhaps, for us. Because I think some of us don't know some of these other people. Yeah. Uh, Chris has dropped yeah. offline. That's a shame because when I was in... Oh, there he is. No, no, oh, here he is. Is he back? Is Chris back? I don't mm -hmm. see him. He's muted, but he's... he's audio, there. yeah, audio. Oh, yeah. I don't see him. Oh, I see his microphone. Phone. Okay, you, well, let you me want introduce to... Chris. You what? want to change to gallery view, Ben? Uh, I'll, oh, I'll introduce here. myself if if that's okay. Well, oh, hang, on. <laughs> hang on, Lane. <laughs> I'll introduce <laughs> myself. That's just okay. Appeared. Yeah. And so I want so, to. Um, oh, well, okay. Sorry. I can introduce. Was Chris, Go ahead. I didn't I'll get. I didn't catch that. Was Was Chris here or? Chris is here. He's in my view, right he, next to you. He's by the way, right everyone, everyone, if you change. <laughs> If you click in the black canvas at the top right hand side and change the speaker view to gallery view, or it's a toggle, then you will see all of us. Ah. Uh, oh, there he is, Chris. Yeah, yes. it's perfect. Oh. That okay. is wonderful. In, in, so, yeah, that is instead of speaker view, always, it's gallery. gallery exactly. Yeah. And this is now the gallery view, but it says speaker view because it's a toggle. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, but I think on the recording, does that affect the recording? Or is this no. People. Only, uh, only the uh, speaker, the, the the open mic will be shown on the recording. Nothing else. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I, I can't. I can't find, find that. Um, um, I can't. I can't find. Phone, Alex, yeah, yeah, you have to just have scroll Alistair. through it. Okay. You could just scroll okay, through it. That's what I thought. Exactly. Yeah. Well, let, let me go ahead and introduce Chris because uh, he's. Uh, I, I said I would do it, and uh, and there he is. He's he's in Barcelona, and uh, when I was uh, I think there for a uh, call research conference, um, I uh, went I I met I, I met up with him in Barcelona, and uh, we went out to eat together and things like that, and uh, went over. He he came online and did a learning together session with me, and he told us about one of his projects. And so, uh, and he's been a very long time with it. He's been there, I don't know, from when, maybe uh, 2000 or 1998. I don't know, Chris, you can tell us. How, how, do you know how long you have been with this group? Uh, I, I'm really a, a lurker. I've, I've been here from very early on, but very inactive. Um, so, but I, I keep in touch with, what everyone's doing um, 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 and continue to be interested in what everyone else is, is interested in. But I, yeah, I'm basically a lurker, I think. It's really good to see you here, especially after uh, no. having met you. And um, let, let me do one more. I want to introduce Mike, because I'm not sure if other people will do that. And then Mike can introduce Lane, because they're in the same, they've been in, they're in the flipped learning session together. Are you able to do that, Mike? Ooh. Do you know, I mean, uh, did you work together? Uh, oh. I was, I was this year as a moderator. Lane, you're, you're, you're ah, muted. Let me, let me do the other way around. Let me introduce Lane and okay. Lane, you're muted. And then you can introduce uh, Mike. No, <laughs> don't want to do that. <laughs> well, okay. I could, well, I could do both of you. Let me, we'll just say, okay, Mike, let me just introduce Mike. Uh, Mike, you can choose someone at random and, okay. uh, or, or we'll just uh, get Lane to introduce herself as she said she was going to do. So Mike, uh, I, I know him through EVO and he was in the, uh, the flipped learning session. Uh, uh, but he also, uh, at the end of that, decided to come into uh, Minecraft. Uh, yeah. He just started doing that. And so uh, we're trying to hook up and, and get together in Minecraft. 
Uh, it seems like I was going to say something else. I don't know. Uh, what else could I possibly say? Mike? You could say me. where Mike is. Yeah, that's true. Where? He's in Greece. He's in Greece. Yeah, yeah. I'm in Greece. Yeah. Awesome. Lesbos Island. <laughs> in Lesbos? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Southern Island, yeah. So, uh, um, I don't know. Um, I have originally born and raised in Melbourne, Australia. And, and as I was saying to Vance and Michael before everyone turned up, the, um, I went out in the 90s in a, on a gap year and, and never actually returned. <laughs> so I, I studied in the UK, Loughborough University. Um, then I came to Lesbos Island. My parents um, um, have their roots from here and wanted to see how it is. Uh, so I started working, you know, one of those, unfortunately, or fortunately, one of those freelance backpackers. Um, and then I got connected with the, the University of Virginia a couple of years later. Um, my first degree is uh, engineering, electronic electrical engineering. Um, so I started a uh, master's course, and then I, I actually ended up doing a PhD. Um, and then back in early 2000, I opened up a, uh, a language school because everything was going fine. And since then, everything's just rolling out. And I think I've just started opening up on the net last uh, five or six years. And it's, I'm just It's a typical amazed. career path for an engineer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I actually, if, yeah, tell you the truth, no, it isn't because uh, in 2011, when I finished my PhD, even though I had offers and stuff like that, I wanted to stay in the, um, the ESL, EFL field here in Greece and on the island. I uh, made a family, uh, protecting it at the moment, staying home. Um, we're, the, we're actually the center of the, uh, the, the refugee crisis. No kidding. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we have a city of, uh, the city is 30,000 in population. Uh, and next to the city, there's another uh, sub-city of refugees, another 30,000. And it's quite hectic at the moment, but I'm trying to help out, help out as much as I can. Yeah. Um, but yeah, life's still good. So, not cool. Oh, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. So, just coincidentally, my husband is from Greece. Oh. <laughs> He's from Carpenisi. Carpenisi, wow, nice, nice, yeah, great. Okay, well, let um, me introduce you. Lane, <laughs> Lane took a course from me a long time ago. I think it was one of the TESOL uh, principles and practices of online teaching. Was that it? Or was it another? Was it before that? It was another one. And, uh -huh. um, it was in 2003 uh -huh. when I met wow. you, and I signed up for a course that was called, it was a TESOL course, Enhancing Online Instruction with Audio and Webcam. Wow. wow. And there were only six <laughs> of us in the class, but you still had a teaching assistant, <laughs> and that was Booth. Do you remember? Booth. That was uh -huh. Booth. Puthena, everyone knows Puthena. Puthena. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so after that, um, I started to get up and running with online instruction, and I was just the only lonely one at my university. And uh, my first presentation, you came, and I don't remember what other web heads came, but I, I mean, came virtually, and I showed mm -hmm. my right in real time. I showed my colleagues. Um, how warm, in fact, the, the title of it was uh, online learning. Is it cold or is it warm? <laughs> and, I, and I said, look, these are my friends, my online friends. And everyone was, what? Where are these people? And you each said where you were and all that. It was, you know, for the day. It was amazing. And then um, in 2008, I started an online uh, program. And we've been doing it uh, with synchronous, with webcam and audio. And I'm a big believer in synchronous uh, because of learning from you and being brave. Um, and then I got into <clears throat> to flipped learning. And um, I was um, involved with the flipped learning network. I was on their board for five years and got uh, their mm -hmm. newsletter going and everything. And then we started an EVO of flip. I've been in EVO all along I, as participant and then a moderator. I think I was on the coordination team one, one year 
And then um, I started the flip learning one uh, with a few people um, that I knew uh, from various locations and such. Um, and now lately what I've been doing is uh, synchronous online flip learning. Wow. <laughs> so I combine the synchronous and the flipping. And uh, I pop in and out of learning together when I can. Um, I've also been working with iEARN, which is a great international mm -hmm. organization, 150 countries, and started an international film club for high school kids. And uh, there's no reason why we can't continue that in today's situation because it's all virtual. Mm -hmm. They watch films yeah. in their respective countries and they do online discussion and mm -hmm. synchronous get togethers. Uh, so I'm hoping, you know, to continue that project as well. Um, and that's it. I mean, I'm a do or die web head. Um, I might right. dip in and out, but I'm here. And Teresa, I've known you for many, many years and some of the right. early interactions that we had in, in, um, in a lot of the sessions that we worked on together. And exactly. uh, Nina also, um, and uh, Nina and I have connected many times in, in at TESOL. And, and gone to a lot of the webhead events together and some of our own little spin-off events. I remember one dinner with Jose Antonio, the three of us, where we walked a long way is all I remember about that. I don't <laughs> remember what city that was in. It was, I was out here. west somewhere. <laughs> anyway, I, hi I, everyone. If you don't <laughs> know me, maybe you know my name. I know a lot of you, I know your names. All of you, I know your names. Uh, but mm, some of you I'm meeting, you know, like this for the first time. Anyway. Mm. Yeah. Can uh, I can I just um, can I just butt in there because and, what and Lane I, said you were next. You were next reminded me. Uh, <laughs> I thought I'd been forgotten as usual. No, uh, no, so no, I'm, no, uh, not at all. I'm, <laughs> so I'm the other Elizabeth and I'm in Grenoble in the afternoon. And uh, <laughs> What reminded me was when Lane said someone came to her first um, presentation in her university and I too was always alone in my university, um, the only person online. And uh, it was Marissa Konstantinidis who dropped in oh, from wow. Greece. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was absolutely dreadful because being in France, people have a thing about timing and we were having this wonderful chat. The people in the room were all thrilled. And then the person organizing the conference comes in and says, time, time, we must stop, we must stop. It was so <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> so embarrassing. I'd forgotten about it. I'm very Carpedian. Um, and, uh, and of course, it's lovely to see Therese, uh, who I saw in uh, Lisbon. In Lisbon, Very right. much on a spur of the minute. Um, decision we drove from Grenoble to Lisbon. Um, in fact, it was Christmas and I was, uh -huh. we were going to drive somewhere and I was going to go to Croatia and see, um, I don't remember names, absolutely fantastic woman there, teacher. Anyway, and then we looked at the map and it was five degrees in, in Croatia and 18 degrees in Lisbon. So I said, Hang on a minute, I know someone in <laughs> Lisbon too. <laughs> we actually drove to see um, the town, but I, I didn't really say so. And can I just uh, point out another connection somewhere else while, um, while I'm on about it? I guess, Heike, you have forgotten when you crashed out in our flat in, in the Liverpool IATFL conference. But anyway, um, I don't see Heike. Oh, no. She, Hi, is she yeah. gone? gone. No, she's anyway. She's muted and she stopped her webcam, but she's there. Well, okay. So I could get it in anyway. And then, of course, I'm sorry. Of course, it's Nina with whom we work so closely and who ah. was so positive and so encouraging. And I think we did quite a good job together, Nina, don't you? Oh, we were an awesome Team. <laughs> An awesome race of women. <laughs> continue to do so. Well, I, I, I really, when I was, sorry, I'll, I'll try and stop. Um, when I was teaching, I was alone. 
and people were saying, where are these people online? These virtual, you know, I'm saying they're not virtual people, you know, <laughs> they are real people. <laughs> but then when I gave up my class, I just, I went, I just had to drop everything online because now it was me who wasn't real. I no longer had my class and I couldn't carry on without, without it being directly integrated into my class because that's how it worked all the time. And, um, and is it Chris was saying, cause yes, cause I too did, uh, was teaching physicists at the university. Uh, you know, I was in, in the science university and, uh, that's my only teaching is sci English for science. <laughs> so that's it. I can stop now. Except I'm going to go and look after my trees very soon because I have an old, found an alternative. Hi, Sasha. Uh, occupation. Oh, wow, Sasha. <laughs> cool. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, I, I was just going to say about Elizabeth, I, I was going to introduce you. I was just about to, and I was going to say uh, that, uh, I met her in Marrakesh and yes. uh, yeah so I've, I've met most people here I haven't uh, in I haven't met Sasha I haven't met uh, Sora and uh, I, of the people here I think I've met everybody which is really nice oh, oh Mike I, I don't think I've met yeah. Mike in person oh you haven't met Mike no Mike that's Kendrick. amazing <laughs> Michael Coughlin yes Oh yes, that's what I've uh, Yes. Yeah, uh, but that's neither here nor there. But I mean, that's a pretty good percentage, and uh, you know that it's not just virtual. I mean, it's uh, this is real. You know, people are actually, uh, you know, we are actually real. And once we get to know each other, <laughs> we're so real that uh, sometimes the greetings just fall aside. You know, in fact, I'm, I'm going to say a little something about Aiden. Uh, I, I think I knew her, I think we must have met virtually, or we must have met face to face before I went to Taiwan. And I was giving a talk on webheads and Aiden came up, uh, yes, came up from the south of Taiwan. And, and I had been MSN messaging her the night before. And then I uh, went to the conference and I, I was actually at the conference listening to a presentation. Aiden comes up beside me and sits down next to me. And the thing to do in that case is to go, Aiden, how are you? You know, now that I just did that. Yay, I got, I got to do it. But I didn't because we'd just been, we'd just been messaging the night before. You know, I just, oh, hi, you know. <laughs> but it, in a way, it's kind of strange because, well, no, that's because you're the connection in MSN Messenger and all these other connections are, 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 are real. You know, they're really real. Anyway, maybe that's an introduction to Aiden. Aiden has been with us for quite a long time. Uh, but I have to warn you, if I introduce you, you have to introduce somebody else in this room. Okay. And we Hi, keep getting everybody. more people. I was just thinking, gosh, it's been like what? We've known each other for 20 years now. Right? Yeah. I remember because so I was finishing my more. dissertation, my master's dissertation in 1999. And by the time, you know, I finished it about 2001, and that's when we met online, I think, Evo. Yeah. 2001. Yeah. Yes, in that original. 2000, 2001, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And the, uh, that's we met freaking 20 odd years. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we've met a, a, a few times since then at conferences. Yes, yeah. Conferences. That wasn't the only one in Taiwan. Also in New Orleans. I may, may have been the last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. TESOL. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I think in California. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's how long I've been here in Taiwan. 25, 26 odd years now. And Michael, we've met face to face. Where did we meet? New York, I think. York. And I think you made uh -huh. a comment on my on my boots. I remember you. <laughs> Maybe you can say something about that, yeah. Because I was I was traveling uh, with my sister at the time, and the first thing, well, you know, I think that's I the, remember your sister. Why? Yeah, yeah. Well, she's still in California. Yeah, they're they're. I think on a lockdown now in California as well. Yes. Mm, yeah. yeah. So yeah. 
interesting times. I'm not that active um, anymore, you know, when it comes to, I mean, I still do a lot of, you know, um, digital, computer-based, whatever you call it now. I still do the same, you know, task-based learning, but um, yeah. I'm just so surprised now that Zoom kind of um, took over Adobe Connect, especially now. Um, yeah. We're actually kind of um, not forced really, but encouraged to use Zoom instead of Adobe. And I said, well, I prefer Adobe. But anyway, that's that. <laughs> so who am I to introduce next? Um, Teresa? Uh, I've been introduced. You've been introduced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, B is, B is leaving. Can B talk before she, or did she leave? Oh. B, B yeah. is. Yeah. Oh no! Well, with Teresa, I think she with just Teresa, said she had to leave, but projects. she didn't. Oh no! Say oh no! Oh yeah. yeah. She says sorry. Must go, guys. Just popped in to say hello. She has a meeting at the school board in fifteen minutes. Oh That's no! Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. What a shame. Here's Sus. Hi, Sus. Hello. Hi, Sus. hello. Where is Sus? Here's Sus. Okay, Aiden, you can introduce Suze. Right, but I don't see her. Yeah, she's there. Gallery, gallery Make view. your screen bigger. How? You press the uh, the top right button instead of speak of you, gallery view, or gallery view, speak of you. But that's, yeah, I'm seeing all your faces now, but I don't see oh, really? Sue. Yeah. She's at the bottom and my my. Oh, there you go. There you are, people. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I see all I have to do is like scroll to the right. I didn't know that. Oh, oh my yeah, god. Hi top, Tom. Uh -huh. Nice to see you. Hi, Sus. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. It's been years. <laughs> Gosh, I may sound so ecstatic, but yeah, that, that's how I feel right now. I just got home, by the way, and I thought I'm gonna be late for this meeting. But what the heck, you know, late or whatever, uh, I st I have to come. I have to see you guys. Yeah. So yeah. next, I'm gonna introduce Suze Nairop from Denmark. Hello. I have <laughs> been uh, online meeting for years. This is an amazing thing. Can, do you hear me? Yes. Yes. Fine. Can hear you. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is really easy. I just had to, I just had to install something and then it worked. Great. I was able to get the back channel help from Michael. I tried several people, but Michael responded. So that is just, just like it should be. Webheads are webheads. Yes. Yes. Um, I have a cat has just arrived. <laughs> you have a cat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's a great cat. That's a great cat. Mm -hmm. All we see is the tail. <laughs> the butt and the tail. <laughs> yes. We have to laugh because uh, the dance was introduced as the herd of cats. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, there's a toy cat or a toy something there with Sue. It's, it's a rabbit. <laughs> I'm also ever so sorry that I have to dash off in about 15 minutes. And I was just wondering, um, it, it, I don't know about this meeting today. I don't know what you planned on doing, <laughs> apart from introducing each other. Cat herding. Huh? <laughs> not cat much herding. Like, yeah. Really, it was a bit cat of a herding, test, yeah. yeah. Um, to see was, whether or not this is the can best I just, plan to just um, ask, take uh, up the briefly action. into the round. Does, do, do you know any teachers who have uh, come up with a beautiful coping strategy with um, Corona that is like some best practice that they came up with, maybe some innovative kind of way of teaching uh, under circumstances that I would be very interested in, in collecting a couple of these sort of anecdotes, stories, if you have any. Thank you so much. Sure. Yeah, uh, Tom and I have been working on our sort of separate projects but anyway i'll uh i can make sure you I'll, I'll i'll paste the link here when i stop talking i'll just put it in the text chat uh to uh, i think what i'm trying to do is link to everybody else's so i think the link to tom's is there i think 
in his is a link to mine. It's basically a crowdsourced document. I'll just put the link in the text chat. Uh, and let's see, I, uh, catching people while they're there. Did Sasha disappear? Oh, she no. Did. She's not there? Oh, no. Sasha. Let's see, who else is, uh, I guess, Tom. Tom, I just mentioned Tom. Tom and Anisora. And Anisora. Anisora is also here. So I don't who wants to uh, speak to us first? Okay, Tom. And I sort of stay around. We're going to hear from you too. <laughs> I'm just here for a short while, actually. I have to run off and go for a swim. Um, not a very oh, wow. reason. <laughs> Our swimming pool is chained off. I'm so sorry to hear it. <laughs> to break the pace. Since I'm retired, I don't have to worry about not having to go to classes. But it's good to see you all. I you know, just fortunately, I realized that, oh, it must be 11 a.m. Uh, UC, uh, UTC. So I dropped in. It's good to see you all. Uh, Michael and Nina, I, I've met. And Zeus, I don't think I've ever met you personally. Terry, I've seen you on and off. It's good to mm -hmm. see that you're still active. Chris, it's been ages since I've seen you, what, in Barcelona, right? And uh -huh. I didn't, I see you sometimes somewhere. You're, you're still around. Uh, Vance, I see too often. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it, um, but anyway, it's great to be able to put faces to names. Stella, you don't have a camera. Stella. Okay, I'll pass the buck. Oh, there's Nina. I'll pass the buck to somebody else. That's about all. I don't have anything really productive to say, except great to see you all. Where well, are you, Tom? Well, I didn't know that you retired, Tom. Where are you now based? I'm still based in the same place. I've been in Hirakata, Osaka, Japan for 50 years. Well, 50 wow. years last um, uh, March 14th, actually. Happy uh, anniversary. Yeah. And I've been at that, you know, I was at that university for 30, 36 years and then retired three years ago. And Fabulous. Uh, yeah, I've just been working various projects since then. So uh, the reader project. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, my uh, reader. reader project, uh, uh, mreader.org. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, has what about a hundred thousand students using it around the world. Uh, wow. Yeah. What it, um, yeah. It, it's it's just a collection of seven thousand five hundred quizzes. Uh, that students can take under their teacher's uh, instruction uh, to prove that they read the book and they count how many words they have and how many, and they collect the book covers of every book they've read. So I've had students who've read over two, three million words actually. Um, but anyway, it's a motivational factor to get students to do extensive reading when most of them won't do it unless there's something like this, a gimmick to, you know, make them prove that they have read it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually uh, followed a talk at, in t at TESOL Greece last year from Corey Kobe. Oh, yes. And he right. actually mentioned M Reader and he showed us some, some, uh, some slides and how it works. And I think we actually started communicating and we should get together as well. I think we should start yeah. communicating. Well, there's M Reader, which is mine, which just has the quizzes. There's also X Reading dot com which both, uh, yeah, both, yeah. pay per student but then you have about uh, 1,000 uh, books uh, that you can get digitally online yeah. on your device uh, and then collect the number of words so yeah uh, both work it depends on whether you have money if, or whether you have physical mm -hmm. books or need digital ones yeah right okay uh, thank you Tom uh, I want, before she slips away, I want to introduce Anisora, what I know about her. And I, I, I know she's from Romania. And uh, she also, every now and then, especially in this, this time just past when Webheads was kind of going to sleep, uh, Anisora would come in with a question and she would ask, oh, you know, I can't remember where to get these digital images. Does anybody know? And what web is it just pop alive? You know, people would just start answering questions. And I use her as an example in a couple of uh, presentations I gave last year 
uh, about uh, thinking small. Uh, and anyway, Bark is here. Cool. Okay. I'm Bark. Anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Thora, and nice really to, nice to see you. And thank you. Thank you. Tell us about yourself. Oh well, uh, as you as you introduced me, I'm the the person with the questions. I usually have questions because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was trying little by little, or I was let's say forced to give up technology. But now, you know, I, I'm again forced to use it as are my colleagues as well, mm -hmm. and teach online. So, uh, and even before that, I tried to apply the blended learning concept that uh, I, I adopted from you. And I will always keep saying, I keep saying that uh, I learned everything about technology from, from you, from uh, Teresa and uh, uh, Vance definitely and Michael uh, during the EVO. I started in 2009 and then until 2013, I was also a moderator of some online sessions. And then I applied now and then this blended learning with different um, kind of activities to involve students to motivate them. And then I met uh, face to face. I'm, I'm so sorry that, um, and Nina, yes, of course, and Aiden, of course, I remember all of you from uh, the EVO sessions. Uh, I uh, met face to face with Heike in Poznan in a business conference and then with uh, Elizabeth N in IETFL and uh, I think two years ago in um, Lisbon with Teresa, which was right, my Anishwara. crowning achievement. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm so... Oh, that was I'm great. So <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, I'm so happy to, to be here again with you. And uh, it's, it's amazing that you are here all, all the time. Thank you, Vance. Unmute, but thank you very much. Thank you, Anna Sora. Thank you. Nice to, <laughs> nice to meet you. And you. Uh, let's see, Mubarak Akader has just arrived. And yeah. Here. Yeah. He's uh, Good morning, everyone. Yeah. in Morocco, I presume, and from Morocco. And he's been uh, several times a uh, coordinator of EVO, Electronic Village Online. This was Nina. Who else here was a coordinator? Yeah. I think that's it. The, the chief uh, coordinator. I don't mean the coordinator. <laughs> I mean, the chief, yeah. the guy, oh, uh, the one who carries thank all the water, you know. <laughs> so thank you very much, uh, Vance. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's morning here. It's still morning, so I'm really excited to see a lot of adorable uh, faces here. So uh, I learned a lot from you, and I'm really glad to 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 share some of what I I, I learned. Really, I, I'm having a great impact on my community here in Morocco from due to or thanks to what i have learned from you so it's just spreading the word and sharing the same experiences and so for evo uh, i think it's really going in certain unsure paces and the participation and uh, of everyone the contribution of everyone uh, is having a great impact on the community worldwide. Uh, great uh, uh, expressions of gratitude to Teresa, to Nina, to Vance, to all the faces I see here. Uh, thank you very much. I, I really appreciate your help. Thank you. So nice to see you, my father. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Susan uh, Morandi uh, is down there with no video or audio. Uh -huh. And Heidi is still there. And Sorry, who is Stella? Stella, do I know Stella? Stella uh, wrote uh, to one of the webheads list today and asked, "What time is the uh, is the event?" And I provided the time. And apparently, it worked. And she said she and and also in that um, the the uh, Talon Talon uh, event I just set up on Mike's suggestion, really, Michael on Michael's. Uh, Hi from Denmark. <laughs> I think I think Aiden was supposed to introduce us, wasn't wasn't she? Well, you, you could do that. We we've heard yeah. from Suze. 
but but we were talking about Stella just now, and uh, yeah, Stella. Stella yeah, sorry to interrupt. No problem. Stella can Stella can hear us, and Stella, you're welcome to unmute and join us. She's uh, we, she's got a, a video uh, muted, and also Susan Mirandi is here. Now, right. Susan, is there anybody here Talk who's about a blast from the past? Yeah, really. Well, sort of. Uh, she's uh, she turned up at WorldCal uh, in 2018, and uh, with a contingent of Iranian presenters. Uh, and, um, and I think a lot of us met her in World Cal in Fukuoka. Uh, who else here was there in Fukuoka? But anyway, uh, Sus Susan, I don't know, Susan, if you can speak to us, you're more than welcome. Or if you want to show your webcam, you can. So um, she's been a, a webhead from the very beginning. Um, okay. So a charter webhead. Mm -hmm. She uh, has been, for sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, she's in Iran, by the way. And um, another thing that I worked with her on was writing about, um, she wrote a chapter in a book, uh, a section of a book that I co-edited on uh, English, uh, on, on language uh, situations in low resource countries. I wrote a chapter. I wrote a chapter as well on the situation in the UAE, which isn't really low resource, but it was low awareness. Anyway, yeah, okay. So uh, this, this mm -hmm. meeting today makes me remember Tap Then. Oh yes, oh yes. Mm -hmm. Except that we didn't oh, have. Tap in. We didn't have video. Yeah. Tap in exactly. The same time the office, on a Sunday yeah. morning. <laughs> I had my little office with a little yeah. room. Right, we all so did. Sorry to give up that For office. those who don't remember, I'm going to put it in. We had virtual text-based pits. Tapped in is what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Tapped in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Way back. Well, I always say tools come and go. And, um, but web heads are forever. What, right. What I, what I try and do, in fact, again. I'm doing... Oh, a webinar in Zoom next week, and I'm saying the webinar you didn't know you needed, online pedagogy. It's not just tech tools. Uh -huh. <laughs> because everybody wants to know what's the tool. And I was like, okay, mm -hmm. we'll use Zoom. It's like, uh, uh, I said um, she likes Adobe better. Too, I like Adobe better too. I, I've come to terms with Zoom. But it's not the tools, it's us, it's us. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know? right. And a lot of people don't get that. If they're new, they get freaked out. Teach me the tool. Teach me the tool. Just saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Incidentally, Susan is chatting with me privately. She says she can't, Susan Mirandi and me, Ryan. Yes. She says she can't hear anything and she's got Heike's face on the screen. So that means she's frozen in uh, a bandwidth problem. So I just texted her. Uh -huh. That's, I, I, that's I, almost I, like being deaf and blind. Oh, there's a recording. Well, there will be a recording. Yes, it's being recorded now. But it's not the same. Yeah. I had this problem when I first got here. I had no audio and I had no video. Here. And I, there, oh, she there she is. There she is. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. So nice, to, so see nice to see you guys again. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, I had I had so much trouble trying to get here because it's blocked for Iranians, so I had to use a VPN and oh well anyway. But so uh, nice to see you guys. Yeah. For yeah sure. Sorry nice to, to interrupt. You. No, no, no. You, we were just talking about you and just yeah. in fact relaying your met your private message from the chat, and we're so glad that you unstuck everything and you got in. And so go ahead. Tell us what you're up to because we're. Uh, I, I'm so so sorry to interrupt. I, I you guys were speaking. I just jumped right in. Actually, about you. I was. I think my problem. I think my problem was that uh, this is my first time using Zoom, so I don't really know how to join without interrupting. So, it seems that I either have to be fully like participant and or I mean like participating or just disconnected. I don't know exactly how it works. I like I see four of you. Uh, right now on my screen. I don't see everybody. Oh. I don't really know. I'm still discovering the, how this thing works. In the upper right, just uh -huh. where you see the full screen icon next to it, it says, right. it should say, um, recording. Speak, and no, it should say, uh, gallery view. Do you see the words gallery view? Um, in the right hand corner? No. 
no, in the right hand corner, I see recording. When I tap on that, then down below it no, says no, mute for us, that video. On an iPad. On an well, iPad. Maybe it's on the opposite side. It could be on the opposite. It's on yeah. the opposite side. Maybe for you, it's the left then. A yeah. bunch of squares in a square. Well, that depends whether she comes in on an iPad or a PC. Ah, that's it. Uh, or an Android. The, the interface. Yeah, I'm on Android. Android. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. on Android. Android. Yeah, Android you, have swipe, you have to swipe to the left, and then you see more. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Nice to see you all. Yeah, for sure. Oh, nice to see Hi. you too, Susan. Teresa, Michael, Vance, Mike. Okay, everybody's okay. This is great. Feels like old days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Michael came on two days ago and said, "Oh, well, actually, a few days ago," and said he he wanted to start this back up and okay. fine with me. So, but last night he contacted me, said, "Let's let's do it now." And I said, "Well." I actually had, I went to one of Nellie's things last night and I said, uh, oh, let's do it tonight. And boy, we've gathered all these people together on one day's notice. And uh, thanks to Michael, the, the one who is one of the warmest of the uh, presences here. In, uh, last time, last time I saw Michael, is, um, he, I think, played the guitar for us and sang us a song. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I remember it. <laughs> It is oh, a famous website. Might do it again. You never know. Where We're is that? Yay! There's a really good version online, isn't there, Babs? And Claire, yeah. Claire is there now. Hi. Yeah, Claire. Hi, Claire. Uh -huh. Hi, Claire. Hi, Claire. Oh, Claire. Claire. <laughs> your video. Uh, I'm just Claire. waking up. <laughs> She's just waking up. Okay. Yes. No, it's I'm well, Michael. Other, might not want to. Michael, I was going to ask you oh, to sing the Webhead song. It's oh. fabulous. Yay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. And, and Mike, hola, Clarinha. Mm. Hola, hola, there, there's another song that Mike wrote. And remember, I, I think I did a lesson I about player. that. Remember? But I can't remember. Now, it's something to do with happy, happy something. Happy online. Mm -hmm. uh, that was another happy one. Online. Yes, happy, happy online, yes. Happy online. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the webheads song. And there's Sadat. Where is it? Hi, Did Sadat. It get my email. I was in an How's online. Sound? Sadat oh, is here. Wow. Oh, oh Sadat. Oh, so good. Oh, Sadat. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Sadat. <laughs> How many countries do we have so far? Dr. Sadat. Oh, several. Vance is in Malaysia. Penang, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm in the U.S. Michael is in Australia. Mike is in Greece. Terry is in Portugal. Lane is in U.S. Chris, where are you? <laughs> Turkey. Turkey. Oh, Turkey. Barcelona. Uh, Barcelona, Spain. Spain? Right. Spain, yeah, yeah. Barak is in Morocco. Morocco. Susan's in uh, Iran. Susan's is in Denmark. Claire, are you in Pennsylvania? Yes, Pittsburgh. Okay, so that is in Turkey, and Chris is in Chris? Spain. Spain. And Tom is in Japan. And Aniswara is in Romania. Mm -hmm. And I yeah, yeah. in Taiwan. This is so cool. <laughs> Yeah, we could be That's stuck it. in place for some time. I'm in New York. <laughs> I'm in oh, Maryland. There. Hi, Aiden. Didn't see you. Yeah. I keep missing people. The the little portraits keep moving around. <laughs> Vance is stuck up there in the upper left hand corner. Oh, mm. Nina, I hear your voice. I just see you now. Oh. Yeah, it just it keeps changing. Yeah, <laughs> I've never I've been to a lot of Zoom meetings, but I've never um, taught a class in Zoom. But I might actually do that because I do a little subbing for a private language institute. And last week or the week before, they just went all online with Zoom because we're all staying home here. How are the rest of you doing in this crazy time? Mike Kinteris. 
taught us, taught me, I suppose, how to do Kahoot in Zoom, because it never really occurred to me to do Kahoot in Zoom, but sure enough, you can't. You just, uh, can you do it? Kahoot in Zoom? How? Yeah, well, I actually, uh, I use it in my in wow. our classes, in my classes, but what I do now every Saturday night at uh, 7 o'clock GMT, you know, Athens time, uh, I have a uh, the Open Kahoot Challenge. So it's quite interesting. Um, last week it was a bit slow. It was about 20 participants. Uh, the week before, the, the, I had 40 participants all together in Zoom. So what I do is open my Zoom screen and then I open the Kahoot and I just host a live. And the participants come into the, the Zoom class. They open up their, their second device where they, they, they look at the Kahoot code. They type Kahoot it. They look at the Kahoot code. And when everyone's in, off we go. I I just play. I'm retired. What is Kahoot? Yes. What is <laughs> okay. Kahoot is just like a multiple choice. Basically, there's, there's quite a few other options, but it's a multiple choice quiz game. It's got a like game music and you it, do it, from it your counts phone. the time. Yeah, you do it from your phone. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's something that, yeah, engaging. Yeah. Sure. I thought it's you were busier. having a dance party or something. Kids <laughs> like it. Kids like it. You know, yeah. We, we can't have a dance party here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We could, yeah, we could. I'd like to tell a story. Yes, okay. please do. Yes. Yeah. Um, I was invited some weeks ago by some students from the University of uh, Technology in Copenhagen to participate in a study that we're doing about. Uh, I'd say uh, usability for elder people about all the, the public services uh, that we have online because in Denmark we have very many and most of it is mandatory. We have to receive all our mail from the public in our uh, digital mailbox and you have to be excused. You, you need to be almost uh, imbecile or demented not to receive your digital mail in the mailbox. And uh, very many solutions are quite tricky. So they want to make some kind of a user um, experience based uh, workshop. And they, they were of course planning to do it uh, uh, on site, offline. And then uh, all of a sudden there was this uh, Corona crisis and uh, we couldn't meet uh, on location at the university. Yeah. So they, they thought they would have to cancel. I'd say there have been uh, for an interview to my home, we are six people participating and they've been here on site to interview me, um, which is okay, but they hadn't really had to, to bother to, to move all that uh, way to get up here in the forest, but they did and that was interesting. Uh, I think they were a bit shocked about my, um, should you say, level of experience in these matters. Mm. Um, because they have had to change and it, it appeared that the, the other participants as well were quite uh, well um, aware of uh, lots of things online. They were not at all silly, um, elderly, confused, uh, uh, helpless people. So <laughs> they have now, I challenged them and said, why don't you just do something online instead? It's not, coming it's all not the way up. Yeah, yeah, it's a exactly. challenge. So, so now, that now they have invited us to use um, it's a, a canvas thing where you can you can it's very confusing in the first place. Uh, yeah, canvas is a there's a screen where you can you can read. It's just like uh, an old mind mapping tool or something. You can you can put objects and move them around and put text and uh, the interesting thing is to see how they have tried to write a sort of manual which is, um, I will have to, to, to find out some, some <laughs> things that, that are not so easy to, to understand. It's a normal thing, but, but it's very interesting because I have been out of this field for many years. I, have, I haven't touched uh, ground with web pages apart from, from being in uh, Facebook and in touch with this and that person here and there sporadically, but, but not like this in a group meeting. I'm, I'm so excited this is happening today. And I, I should say, my, my first meeting was with uh, 
Vance and Michael and uh, perhaps uh, Teresa and Aiden in, uh, back in about uh, 2001 in tapped in. And I remember that Aiden was always putting her babies in a bath or feeding them or something. <laughs> the babies were quite small by then. <laughs> and I've met with Teresa several times in, in, um, in Lisbon. I visited mm -hmm. your school, Teresa, and your family. Yep. And, you uh, did. We, we know each other very well. Uh-huh, exactly. And we worked in the becoming a webhead. Oh, yes. A lot of times, yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, many and, then how many, and how many webhead sessions did you do? The becoming a webhead? Evil ten, thing? ten years. Wow. Yeah, ten years. On, uh, 2013 was the last year. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have a big site with uh, lots of stuff and so on. So, yeah, ten years. And that, uh, that was enough. And by no, yeah, then, then we, sorry, we, we, it, we gave way to uh, ICT for, for, bar, ELT, 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 yeah. ELT, 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 right, yeah. right. Yeah. I was uh -huh. going to say, they, they seem to take Exactly, uh -huh. with certain moderators from the Becoming a Webhead group, mm -hmm. and they followed on. Almost all, oh, GA, Maria, Bosa, Ayat, uh -huh. a lot of others, yeah. Right, right. In all the uh, becoming uh, webheads. Uh, hala, hala. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hala, yeah, so, yeah. So, hala, yeah. right. Hala, party. Yep. Yes. Before we go, I'd like to hear from Sadat because uh, he's been a webhead for a very long time. Uh, you remember Arif Al Tun? Uh, you remember Riff from the old days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have to unmute Sadat. There you go. Okay, yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. I, Sadat, I think maybe you were studying under Arif, or was that yeah, the relationship? I studied, I studied with Arif uh, uh, in 2004 and 2006, and after that, I uh, studied with Gorge Hoja. You remember? Uh, yes, Gorge uh -huh. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, now I am at uh, my own institution, and uh, I'm working as an assistant professor. Uh, and I, I learned a lot from webheads and just right now I uh, I was uh, in an online class uh, uh, ICT in English language teaching is, it was a master's class and I was talking about webheads and how I started working on computer assisted language learning uh, what happened in the past what uh, what kind of communities online communities are available I talked about them and uh, and after that I came here oh, wow. I'm very grateful to all members of Nice. Yeah, I, I met Sadat, and uh, let me think, I think um, in Ankara? 2007. Maybe? Mm -hmm. 2007. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow, yeah. Oh. Uh, Sadat, you were, at, you were in California a couple of years ago, yes. right? Yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, we saw each other at the call conference there in Berkeley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we were going to have lunch and something happened. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we had the plan to have lunch and it didn't work out. I don't know what happened. Was there a Kikol convention this year or no? No, no. It canceled. no it's canceled. Ayatafel so, is also canceled. When was it supposed to be and where? Now. It's about this time? Um, it's supposed to be starting uh, Tuesday and Wednesday this, this coming week. Oh, My sure flight was, was yesterday. If I had gone, it, I would have gone yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I'd oh. be there now. Yeah, mm -hmm. very sad. Yeah, but well, uh, just EVO, EVO is there, or yeah. we're we're online. Yeah. The best yeah. of EVO is, <clears throat> and I'm I'm sure you've read about that somewhere. I'd just like to mention before people go that I've taken a few screenshots of this as we were talking, and me I too. have them pasted into an email with no recipients mm. and I once Cute. we're done I'm not going to remember everybody who was here <laughs> uh, 
Well, so if you want to get that email with the pictures, please send me an email. Well, no, no, send one to me because I'll put this online. Okay. The recording yes, is yes. going to go online at learningtogether.net. Okay. And uh, I'll, I've been taking screenshots myself, so mm -hmm. I'll put those. And of course, you, and you're going to get the video, and you can go play the video through, and you can take screenshots of the video as you go, you know? So. <laughs> right, yeah. I should have mm -hmm. known that fans would have it all in hand. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and okay. we, I'll send the video to you. End, Nina. I mean, I, this was a bit of a, a toe in the water just to see whether this might fulfill a need if we're all stuck at home, whether or not we'd all get in front of the, the computer and the webcam and meet each other. And guess mm -hmm. what? It's what we all needed to do. So I prefer yes. to yes. do this at we least once a week. Thank you, now Mike. Until all this stuff stops. And uh, partly because it was just an, an obvious thing to do. We used to do this at least once a week. So it and it, and like it's time clear. too. Yeah. yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you for ordering. And the song, the Michael? The song? <laughs> really now? <laughs> yes, why not? <laughs> oh, I'd have to find the You know what? Danish television. Oh. There's uh, the, the leader of the Danish uh, uh, girl choir, the broadcast girl choir. Every morning he will uh, come on television and uh, sing a song with us, two songs, and uh, everybody can, can ask for a favorite song. Last, uh, last night it was the, um, the crown prince and his uh, lovely family with four children asking for a very sweet song. And uh, then we'll all uh, make some uh, exercise before we start singing. And uh, then we'll sing in our living room uh, all apart, but uh, you may send in a video. So on, on Friday, he made a, a compilation of uh, 30 or so videos where you could hear different people sing and uh, stand in front of the camera. It's, it's very comforting and very fun. Sure. Yeah. For well, all we might here. practice a group uh, effort. Uh, be, before you start, something similar. Before you start singing, sorry, just one tip: uh, if you want to change the background of your webcam like this, mine. Do you see my my, my background? It's yeah, a bit resolution. colorful. And, oh, yeah, yes, I've heard about that. I've been yeah. trying that, but, but but you've got. You can find life. that uh, uh, in, in your camera with parameter <laughs> video, and you change the what is this called? The background. Virtual video. background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, just in case you want to have a. Yeah. You have to have a nice, a nice background, though. Background. It has to be a nice yeah. white background. <laughs> no, 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 not, not necessary. No, just. I uh, don't see any choices. Oh, uh, yeah. Choose virtual background. You can add your own, add image if you're on the PC. Uh, yeah. It's a video option. Oh, it's it's under video. video. Yeah, it's a video option. I have one, a very green one. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the green, the green screen right. starts. Uh, um, what is did that? Did I change mine? I'm just going to do a little bit, okay? This is okay, <laughs> Michael. Thank you. You need a, a white background. You need a white background. <laughs> the words above the camera. Oh, this is so weird because there. I can see part of my dining room, but behind my dining room, I can see pictures. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're all over the world. We're pets. We're all over the world. 24 7. We're online. It doesn't really matter. Whatever the time, someone's there to answer the call. We're pets. We're all over the world. We're big. We're all over the world. If you want to know how to do it right, or maybe you're lonely in the middle of the night, it's not for me. Imagine you're gone. We're big. We're all over the world. Wait. 
world of the world. Wow. Okay. Well done, Michael. Uh -huh. Thank you, Michael. Uh, Webheads uh, rock. Uh, Love it. We'll do it again uh, this time or about this time next week and maybe another time tw at 12 hours apart because this time is really difficult for people in the Americas. Yes. Yeah. Very good for people in hey. Asia. It's actually hey. it's good because I have a house with sleeping people in it. I can get up. This, this is when we used to meet and tap in. I it? just set my alarm. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. I set my and alarm uh, for 7.45 instead oh, of 6.45, wow. but I woke <laughs> up at 6.45. Oh, wow. Ew. Ew. Oh, no, webheads. That. Webheads. <laughs> uh, I've been, I put a link in the text chat. That link is to Talon, teaching and learning in isolation. And uh, right. something that Michael and I have just started. And it's got a calendar in there, and uh, we put this event there. Best of EVO is there in a couple of days. If you want to set up an event, just write it in the time. Good idea, yeah. If you know, yeah. you put your events out. Anybody wants to set one up, if you don't like the time, make up your own time. <laughs> uh, while I'm in isolation, I'm pretty amenable to meeting about any time between uh, two o'clock. <laughs> 2 a.m. <laughs> if you want me to host it, I'm happy to do that within that 12 hour time frame, or uh, anyway, maybe even a little before or after. But, uh, or if you want, you can host your own. But anyway, that's, uh, uh, that's available. Yeah, just, just visit that link. It's tinyurl.slash talon, T A L I N, 2020. Unfortunately, Talon was already taken. Probably has something to do with Estonia. So um, yes, that has more ends in it. Hmm. Estonia's Talon has more ends in it. Ah, yes, that's true. Okay, well, even that one, with only one end was already taken. But anyway, visit there, and uh, we'll we'll monitor it. And there are other things that I was going to talk about tonight, but I'll talk about it next time. So. Uh, we'll oh, okay. see who else wants to call a meeting, and if one doesn't get called, uh, once this EVO thing is over, we'll uh, try to set them up regularly. I have, I have a feeling that Michael will probably uh, be organizing this uh, quite a bit there. But anyway, just go there, and if you want to write something in, we'll all see it, and um, we'll meet you if, you're, if you want to do that. Oh, and Lane, too. I almost forgot. Lane, you're making these little funny motions. I, Lane is offered to give a webinar. Uh, on the crowdsource document. Yes, you did. I believe so. Oh, I, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right time Surprise. of your webinar there, and <laughs> we'll meet you for your webinar. And I'll promote these through Learning Together. If you write one in, I'll, I'll promote it and I will uh, uh, record it and put it, uh, make a blog post about it afterwards. So uh, please, you know, just. Uh, line yourselves up there if you want or watch for the announcements and and come and visit them and if it's something gets posted there and we're going to organize if i'm going to host it i'll announce it on learning together i'll promote it as well so uh and record it afterwards so anyway we'll see what happens as i said about tonight we're gonna throw uh, kick a few balls around and see if we can attract any players and here we are <laughs> we got guitar hey. players as well Right time at the right place, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, uh, right. it was a catchy title as well. You know, teaching in isolation at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a very challenging time. Very challenging times for everyone. And um, my uh, curiosity at the moment, something that's really, you know, itching away at me is, uh, you know, a lot of teachers if not, you know, uh, some teachers, a lot of teachers like, like you guys have, you know, have been around for, you know, for a long time and, and together and united. And that's, that's really awesome. And that's one of the reasons I said, I'm just going to go for it. It doesn't matter. But uh, my question is, you know, could we do the same? Could we build a community or a tribe of, of our students? Could that, you know, because uh, I, 
I'm constantly on Messenger and, and they're texting me and I can't get into the classes and I, well, how do I do this and now how do I reset that? And, and, and we're having this communication channel that was never there and I'm always taking advantage of it in English and they're producing language and, um, and I'm just thinking, how can I get that out of Facebook, out of the Messenger's social media and getting into a, a community of, of learners? not just for you know accident for more accidental learning and, and stuff like that so that's what i'm looking at at the moment <laughs> don't know if anyone else has done anything about like that well mike not to put too much of a dampener on it but i think many of us here have struggled with that same question for a long time and i think i more or less came to the conclusion that by and large <coughs> we had in the web heads as a community of practice doesn't translate very well to the classroom situation. Bits of it do, it might work for a short while with some students, some classes, but to keep it active over an extended period, it just seems too hard. And I don't know what the reason for that is, but the fact is that when you mention social media, when you, we've all tried to get students into various spaces, you get middling success you go into yeah. Facebook and guess what it takes off they all respond they're all communicating but go anywhere else and it all kind of fizzles and dribbles along fizzles that's been my it. experience mm. I'm not sure whether yeah. this model yeah. translates to the, the classroom very well but I, I'd love to be proved wrong yeah yeah mm. okay food for thought I'm you know waiting on uh, Zoltan Derny's book engagement motivation plus um, getting him off the chair is something in behavioral science at the moment. See how that's going to work out. <laughs> I mean, you can certainly have great sessions with students in a normal, you know, normal class in tools like this, but that, that, that again, that longer extended period of connection where learning's also taking place much harder to, to replicate. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's, it's the new norm. It's different. Yesterday was different than today. I, I, I didn't have that urge yesterday or the day, you know what I mean, when COVID, now that COVID has started. It's just everything's completely different and everything's new and all these experiences and stuff like that. And so we'll see. Well, it might. That, I mean, I've had, and I bet several of you in this room now have had these conversations over the last week. My, my two conversations in the last 24 hours were with my brother and my son, who have both been thrown into the online deep without much clue as to what to do. And they're on the phone saying, how do you do this? <laughs> so this will change things. And I bet all of those I, people I, will find I, that parts of their teaching work really well in the e-space and they won't go back. But Lane, Lainey? Well, what I was going to say is that um, I'm the only one who's been teaching online all along and I was kind of marginalized. Now I'm very popular all of a sudden. Yeah, I can imagine. Everybody, <laughs> everybody's making appointments with me, but what I'm Let's finding talk is, online. <laughs> what I'm finding is that everybody's at a very different place. And what I have to do is individually mentor them. I have one guy who um, ha can't find any audio or webcam or anything. He, uh, he calls me on the phone. I put the speakerphone next to the mic on my computer and he lectures his lecture from his lecture notes that he's been using for how, how many wow. years. I make exactly. an audio recording. I post the audio recording with an announcement. I send it out to the students and I say, here's your professor's lecture for this week. It goes with your textbook chapter eight or something like that. Do you believe wow. that? Mm. That's what I'm dealing with. <laughs> yeah. uh, I flipped learning. <laughs> That's flipping. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I wanted to say something. I, I, actually, I've also been become very popular recently. One thing that I mean, I'm, I'm very glad because people are finally um, like recognizing the importance of call and e-learning. But one thing that I've noticed is that um, since they're not like they don't know the principles. It's mostly yeah. just the kind of on upload download kind of thing. And there isn't much interaction or communication. And I think that this is like, 
right now it's really important that we make sure that people know how to do it correctly. Otherwise, it's going to be a very traditional, boring, uninteresting kind right. of teaching. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. maybe what was we happening have an issue. in the classrooms. Pardon? Oh, that may be what was happening in their classrooms before they were forced <laughs> to go online. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, take a traditional Possibly. class and put it online. You still have a traditional class. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Boring does. Right. I think that people need to be yeah. reminded, Susan, that the good principles that or the of the the principles of good teaching are the same no matter where yes. you are, whether you're in a classroom right. or here yeah. in this space. Yes, exactly. The principles yes. are the same. It's engagement that Mike mentioned. It's interaction. It's involvement. Right. To move people emotionally, and if they yes, if they were boring in class, they're going to be even worse online. But if they're engaging people, just right. and that's a really important message. And I remember Jonathan Finkelstein, and some people in this room will mm -hmm. know it and remember Jonathan's yeah. great love. Right. He was very human. He was funny. He admitted mistakes. He allowed us to see right. who he was. And it's really important, I think, to get that human stuff right in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I think one, right. one of the, the reasons e that the traditional... Office, certainly in the e-space, show people who you are. That's why I, I, showed, you in my, I showed you in my jammies. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> they were very, very, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> mm. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure you all know. <laughs> Susan, don't feel alone. I'm in my PJs as well. So, <laughs> what time is it in Iran? What time well, actually, is the timing? The, the timing is reasonable. I mean, it's five o'clock in the afternoon, but I've been mm -hmm. at my computer the whole day catching up with you know on my work. So, I just didn't feel the need to dress up, you know, <laughs> formally. And so, like, actually, I I recently somebody sent me this caricature of. Uh, like a professor teaching and like dressed in a suit. The top half was like a suit and <laughs> bottom like um, he was like just wearing underwear. <laughs> and so I laughed over that. I never thought that I... <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can see I, I am wearing, I do have pants on. We're relieved to know. We don't need to go around the room, do we? <laughs> right. TMI, too much information. <laughs> well, dear people, I think I'm going to go. Lovely to see yeah. you all. Just so yeah, lovely to nice see you. Feeling to Thank be you, there. everybody. Yeah. For yeah. the bye -bye. Stay we safe and healthy. And just people okay. watching the um, recording, you guys are, we missed you. Come next time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. so um, I just want to say that you guys, you guys are the people I started learning call with. Of course, it was first, um, first Christine Bauer Amazoni, and then you guys, and you were always all my teachers. And it's so great to be back with you. And I'm still learning from you. So thank you all very much, and thank you, Vance, for yeah. cat herding as usual. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, everybody. It was really great seeing you guys oh, again. Thank you, I everyone. Yeah, really thank great. each other. That's why we're here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We'll do more. We'll do Bye. more, everybody. We'll do more. Um, Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, then. Thanks, everyone. Thank Bye. you. Thanks, everyone. Thank Thanks, you. everyone. Okay. So Bye. look, look yeah. for that uh, in that link I sent everyone, and uh, that will... Uh, show us when the next one will be. And I'm gonna keep nattering here for a minute because I always do an outro. The outro is mm -hmm. that this is learning together. Thank you, Mike. Aiden, you're still here? So that, cool, okay. Bye. Okay. Uh, you can stay, oh, yeah, okay, good night everybody. Oh, there's Suze, hi Suze, okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, this has been Learning Together, episode 444. It's uh, the 30th of March, 2020, and we've had all these wonderful people from Webheads, including Suze, our dear Suze right here, who's um, still on camera with us. So nice to, nice to see you and everybody else. Any goodbyes before you go? You have to unmute, though. <laughs> yep. Unmute, 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 unmute. Unmute. <laughs> I can unmute you, or I will try and unmute you.
I can't unmute you. Oh, yes, too bad. sorry, sorry. Yes, there I had go. unmuted. Um, I was trying to change my background, but my computer is too old, so I uh, can't. Hmm. Uh, too bad. I've played with that, and it just messes up the image. You saw how Michael was swimming in and out of the green background. Uh, other Mubarak's Mugart looked good. I think it was because the light was very bright on him. And, yes, uh, mine is very dark because I have to to uh, pull the curtain to draw the curtain because if not, I'll have the the window background light. Yeah, yeah. I, I can try. I don't know. I, I think it would be bad. I don't know. Sorry. Oh no, no! It needs needs to be front light. No, maybe it may be good. Is, no, is it bad? Probably not. It needs to be really no, bright. No, my face light. is not so ugly. Like you know, like that. <laughs> that might work with a nice background, <laughs> yeah. but anyway, it shines in my face. So, I. I but but now I'm stuck. I'm I'm stuck in some stupid settings, and uh, I think I'll stop playing and uh, go out in the sunshine and uh, try not to contact too many people, and um, find out what to do next. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're we'll again soon. I think this worked perfectly. Yes. Yeah. It I'm worked really happy. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apart from. The, the early login problems, etc. everything worked and the people did not drop out and uh, yeah. there was no lag or anything. Very, very fine. Yeah, it is. Very nice, yeah. nice piece yeah. of software. Yeah, okay. modern technology works. Okay, good night. Yeah. Nice to see you again. This is my first time to see you moving. I've always seen your avatar and uh, yes. this is our yes. first time on video. Yeah. I had so many problems earlier with bandwidth and camera and, and such, so this works. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let's see. In meeting. No, yeah. In meeting? I want to leave the meeting. I don't want to end the meeting. Leave meeting, yes. No, yes. I have to. I See, this this meeting is going to work for EVO. I'm using the same one. I just didn't start a new meeting. So okay. So if I go, oh, oh I'll stop the recording. That's